I want to bring in one of our headliners today, Brian Belsky, he's BM, BMO chief investment strategist. He's with us once again. I, I, it's good to see you again. Welcome back. Thanks for having us. I, I know, uh, hello I, from Canada. We're open for business. Yeah, uh, it's nice to see a lot of people opening for business. All right, you, you heard the conversation. Is this the week that broke the corrections back? You, you must think or hope that it is because you got 4,800 on the S&P. You know, listening to your family there back and forth, it kind of sounds like a Belsky family Christmas from years ago, arguing at the Christmas table. But no, listen, uh, yeah, I would say yes, uh, this is. And I'm not a technician, but my very first mentor on Wall Street was William O'Neill. And he taught us a really cool pattern called a cup with a handle. And I think the market over the last few weeks has made this cup with a handle type pattern, which is very, very bullish. And as you know, and I've been called Pollyanna and all this kind of stuff, uh, but it's, it's always better to be better coming out of a negative side of things than bitter. And we can be better and we can be positive because the macro environment actually is better than everybody thought. Earnings are better than everybody thought. Here's some facts. If you take a look at what S&P earnings were supposed to be in the third quarter as of June, it was 20, up 23%. They went up to up 25% by the end of September. Now we're coming in at 27 percent. Earnings are going higher, not even talking about financials. I mean, come on. You know that I've been on this program saying, you asked me once on one hit saying, Belsky, if you're going to buy one it. thing, what financials, are you going to buy? Financials, said, financials, financials, financials. Yeah. And here's why. I mean, look at what these companies have been able to do. And it's not just, yeah, Goldman's going to print money. No, look at the wealth management side of the business and these multi-divisional assets from the from the big money center banks are very similar in scope to what's gone on in Canada here for the big five banks. But that's why you want to own these companies because of scale. And the numbers are unbelievable with respect to this notion that earnings are slowing. Analysts have been and companies have been sandbagging the numbers for 10 years. It's under promise over deliver. And it's never been more prominent than the last two years. And I think this trend's going to continue. So, oh, by the way, it's not just this first week. I think earnings are going to be better for the next couple, three weeks. And as we transition as a market to a more earnings driven market, we think that's very positive. Lastly, this whole notion of calling indices versus stocks, we've said for the last six to eight quarters, that the market is a market of stocks. This is a stock picking market. Correlations have fallen apart with respect to intersector correlations, meaning you want to buy stocks. And it's never been more apparent than the last six months, especially with this tug of war with respect to growth versus value. So yes, we're an investor. Yes, we're bullish. Yes to 4,800. And I think the market is going to surprise people like they've never seen.